Hi guys, welcome. Welcome back to another ant video. Today I just want to give you guys a brief update of my ants and the new setup right here and also my um my uh camping artist species ants in here. Um my black carpenter ants. Um the recently named I decided to name them the Jet Black Emperors. So these guys are Jet Black Emperors, these guys are the um dark warriors so yeah let's check out the dark warriors um and also you know what i got a new camera so let me let me know i, I don't think the comments are on so you can't really let me know but yeah hopefully it's um yeah a little better quality because it's supposed to be like 8k footage so yeah it, it looks a little better to me um so um and now i can put this lens on so it'll be even better quality than it is right now for the ants in there but yeah, as you can see just right there, um, let me just put this lens on, actually in a second. But yeah, they, they're only nesting in here, which is kind of weird, because this is their sugar bark test tube. And it's kind of, I know, I just found out that ants can, in fact, tell the difference between sugar water and normal water right here. So yeah, but um, they should be fine, because I know they need fresh water as well as sugar water to survive, but... Um, yeah, they're mostly nesting in here. I, I, in fact, they're all nesting in here. All the queens are in there. But, um, they were nesting in here, like, yesterday. But now there's only a few workers in there. I know, I put a little red foam over it. Just so it would be darker. I know it's not the most scenic, but, um, it works. Um, but yeah, there's a few ants in there. Um, I just decided... I don't think this test tube was in the last video that I made. Um, but, yeah. This test tube was probably not in the last video I made. Um, I put it in here, um, because I felt like they need a little more space, but, um, now, yeah, I know they don't, because they're just nesting in one test tube, so, whatever, but, um, they also did make it, like, a little, like, ant hill right here, I don't know if you can see that very well, there's a hole, um, being held up by the rock, I also added a few more moss, like that moss, over here, if you saw, um, the video where I moved these ants, um, and here I took most of it out. I put a little bit of it back in though. Because I did put some springtails in there. I don't see them anywhere right now, unfortunately. But um yeah, I did put a few springtails in there. So um and I like it moist, of course. So yeah, I decided to put some moss in there, dampen it a little. In fact, let me get this water right here. And then we're we're just gonna put a little water on all these mosses. Like over here. Um, just so it retains moisture. Mostly for the springtails and a little bit for the ants. Because I know ants need a little moisture. But, oh my gosh. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> Hopefully you can. But, yeah. Um, let's just put a little more on here. Um, but I know ants, yeah, they like moisture as well. But I don't want to put too much because then mold will grow. So, that's not fun. Um, and then... Mold could potentially harm the colony, of course. So, no, no, no. You're all moving out of your test tube. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Let me get you back in the dark. No, no, no. This isn't cooperating. Okay, whatever. Go like that. Okay, so, yeah. But, um, let me show you guys these ants. I'm gonna get this. It might be a little blurry at first. So I'm gonna get this macro lens on here. Um, so you guys can see it even better. Here we go. I'm expecting a population explosion as well because of, um, there's a bunch of larvae. You see that? See that little orange thing? It's darker colored. Um, that's the head of a larvae. I mean, not a larvae, a pupae. Um, and yeah, that's like the final stage to end development. And there's a bunch of these in here. So I'm, I'm expecting a little bit of a population boom in the next couple weeks. But yeah, um, there's a lot of those pupae. Um. And all the queens are in here, of course, like I said earlier. Um, and they've been productive, as you can see. It's like, literally, you cannot see the bottom of the test tube. All you can see is all this pupae and larvae. All this stuff. But, yeah. There's an ant carrying a pupae right there. Um, but, yeah, they, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, it's been, hmm, like, a week since I filmed that video of moving them from their previous hybrid nest setup into this tubs and tube setup but yeah look at that queen over there she is 
one wing only. <laughs> Some of them decide to keep their wings. I think that's the only one that decided to keep their wings now. No, no, no. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, um, yeah. Um, she only has one wing now, so. Um, I actually bought this colony, and it was a great, it was only like $60, so. It was a great deal. Thank you, um, the Gan farmer who sent me these ants, but holy, I, it keeps going black, whatever. Um, it is a new phone, so yeah. Um, but anyway, there's also an egg box right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's at the top. There it is. See those little eggs? But yeah, um, I don't know why they're all nesting in one sugar water tube, um, but yeah. It's, it, I mean, they can have whatever they want as long as you're happy, so. I don't know why, like, they, look, 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 they're, they're over here, they're, oh my gosh, I don't think you can see that, but they're, they're moving larvae and pupae out, and they literally, like, covered up the hole, they don't they do that a lot, like, take a look at this, like, when you look in here, there's, like, no hole anymore, so, and they're trying to move the larvae out, see that, see that, those workers, and then they just end up coming back, <laughs> so, uh, what I usually do is I just make a little hole for them with this. Um, here, let me make a little hole. And there we go. That, now there's like a man-made ant hole there. See, see how many ants are rushing out now? Like, come on. Why do you, like, close up the whole entire thing? I don't know. Maybe they want to protect it from predators or something. But, you know, you got to make a hole for yourself to get out. Like, what the heck? But, yeah. Now they come falling out. Um, pulling out. Um, they also made a little hill over here. Um, yeah, oh look, there's a roly poly. Um, some of those I added in. But, yeah, they, they also made a little hill right here to make it easier to get up. Um, into this test tube with the red foam over it. But yeah, um, just wanted to give you guys a little update on that. And then, um, for our second update. Okay, let me get the lid back. <laughs> it's basically just an ant closet I have. Let's just get that back. Um, this is the lid. Put this back on. By the way, this is an AC Outworld. Um, I just used that because I it was like one of the only things I had wearing around. So why not? Um, I I know it seems like it's bigger than the previous hybrid nest they were in, but it's less nesting space, and I feel like it was just too much or it was getting them stressed out. And now they're doing much better because they have a bunch of pupae. I don't think they had a lot of pupae when they were in the hybrid nest setup. So yeah, I'm glad they did. But um, no. Let's get to this update over here on um, the Jet Black Empire. Um, I'm sorry, the Jet Black Emperors, not Empire. <laughs> but yeah, let's just put them down um, on the bed because it's like a nice white background. I'm not going to move this whole like thing over there. That's why I didn't. But yeah, and then let's get this lens. And uh, let's go right here. All right, so... Um, I'm going to put this lens on now. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And then hopefully it doesn't go black. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Okay, whatever. Um, Yeah, but as you can see, they, they've been doing amazing. Like, they, they've had so much egg production. It's crazy. Um, The queen has been very, very productive. I guess they, they seem to very much enjoy the crickets I give them. Um, I, like, never gave them anything else except cricket and apple. That's what I mainly feed them. Um, let's, like, bring the lens down here and see if that, okay, that's not, okay, that's better. Um, but, yeah, now we can, okay, the quality is worse. I was trying to zoom in all the way, but it didn't work, but, yeah, anyway. Um, I don't think you can see that very well, but they do have a cocoon, finally. Um, let me see if I can just pick this up up to get it closer let's just put it on my knee why not <laughs> whatever um but yeah um they do have a cocoon um on that side the queen's kind of covering it so it's kind of hard to see but yeah they do have a cocoon <laughs> i keep saying that like stop saying that okay um but let me stop rambling and say that they're doing they're doing well um there's the cocoon see that little Thing that looks different than the rest of the eggs doesn't have that black dot in the middle see that that is a cocoon all right so it's easier to see the difference when you're 
um, like, not on this camera, because it won't focus, but whatever, but, um, and they've been producing a lot of garbage, as usual, <laughs> um, hold on, let me take this thing off to show you, okay, the lid is off, I don't know why I said thing, but whatever, um, just gonna think of it, but yeah, look at all the garbage they're producing, oh my gosh, this quality, like, why, why would, like, it focus on the garbage, but not on the freaking ants, like, what, what, does that have to do like what the heck but anyway um that that's a little bit of a cricket i i did clean it up like a couple days ago but they still have a lot um i also noticed it's weird because um i guess that this ant was just a little hungry because i noticed um this bigger ant. i actually don't know if it's a major or not because it's kind of hard to tell majors and um look is a part in camping artist because it, this but i don't know why they produce majors so early because they have two freaking workers but this look how much bigger um this worker slash major is um than the other worker so it's kind of weird but um anyway um i noticed the bigger worker it she just like um went out and she started drinking some of the that apple right there from the garbage pile so it's kind of weird but i guess she was just hungry if you guys didn't know um, ants, um, the workers are the only ones that need the sugar, the carbohydrates to get energy, and they need the protein to, like, feed to the larvae, um, so they can develop, so yeah, um, just a little ant back there, but yeah, that should be wrapping up today's video, just to update you guys on what these two colonies have been doing, I don't know if you can see that all the way over there, you know what, this has, like, a superior zoom. Oh my gosh, like I am literally sitting like, <laughs> I'm literally sitting so far away from there. I'm sitting about like, look at this, look at this. Look, this is the bed I'm sitting on and then that is the closet all the way over here. And I can zoom in all the way like so close. But anyway, this is a cool zoom, but yeah. Um, Just to give you guys an update on the Dark Empire and the Jet Black Emperors, all right? So yeah. That will be wrapping up today's video. Um, don't really put the lid back on. <laughs> but that will be wrapping up today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Peace out. Okay, guys. So I realized after recording this video that my naming my aunt's video, my um, recording as the name. Oh, wow. By the way, a little update as well. But um, my finally naming my aunt's video, I finally told you guys the names. Well, it didn't save. I don't know why it didn't save, and now I can't get it back. So, yeah, that you hold me, Carl. Um, my Afino Vesta colony today, D, Dark Warriors, which is their name, um, that I decided to name them. And then the Campanatus ants that I have, um, the Black Carpenter ants, are um, named now um, D, Jet Black Emperors. So, yeah, that that's what the names were, but yeah. I realized that it didn't, it didn't, I, I re literally recorded that video like two weeks ago, and it didn't look, I don't know why. But yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, awkward laugh, but yeah. Um, anyway, uh, this colony, I, I'm just checking on them, and look at that, they, they're, look at all of them. They have a bunch of brood, um, they're moving, um, some of the brood and did that test, too. They might have got a little stress from the recording of the video you guys just saw it like a second ago but yeah um they're totally moving into this test tube so yeah i'm kind of happy about that because yeah maybe we scared them off like i said but yeah that's kind of cool to see them moving um so yeah i'm glad they're moving it looks like there's a plane in the open they better move it quick <laughs> but anyway um yeah just wanted to tell you guys that i just realized that but yeah um, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, so see you guys next time.